Hi everyone, BlockFi here. We want to let you know that everything is okay, everything is fine, and we're working our hardest and our bestest to let you know that we're working our hardest and our bestest. We also want to let you know about your money. It is safely secured in the Bermuda Triangle, and we do not anticipate any problems. Thank you for your support, and BlockFi is fine. So it seems that BlockFi is still frozen, and this seems to include their uh, crypto accounts as well as their credit card accounts. And um, I just want to hear from people out in the community about what your experience with this thing, because everyone's going to have a different experience, and I know we have people who are in BlockFi. Um, I want to take a look at this, guys. So uh, this is an email you can see here. It says, um, we know the past few days have been difficult uh, for you. Uh, we are deeply saddened to see the devastation that is cascading across the industry. Uh, that we love and believe in, touching the lives of so many people. This is again from BlockFi. Um, our top priority remains doing the best we can for our clients. Um, after everything we accomplished this summer to protect BlockFi, last week's news regarding FTX was unexpected uh, for us at BlockFi and for so many others. We are working around the clock to evaluate uh, all of our available options. That doesn't really sound good to be honest. When, when they're not, they're just like, hey, so when you when you read that kind of language to evaluate our available options, meaning that some options aren't available, that's how I read that, and that they haven't decided what they're gonna do. So that kind of stuff makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, where do things stand today? We, we determined late last week that in the current environment, we could no longer operate uh, our business as usual. Uh, that's also bad news. Um, given that FTX and its affiliates are now in bankruptcy, the most prudent decision for us in the interest of all clients is to continue to pause many of our platform activities for now. And this is coming in uh, Monday morning. So um, it looks like they're continuing to be frozen. I think that's, I think that's what they're saying here. Um, the rumors, oh no, there was rumors now. The rumors that the majority of BlockFi assets are custodiated at FTX are false. That said, we do have significant exposure to FTX and associate corporate entities that encompasses obligations owed to us by Alameda, assets uh, held at FTX.com, and undrawn, undrawn, that means they don't have it, I think. Oh, no, 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 they haven't used it. Undrawn amounts from our credit line with FTX.us. Well, the credit line with FTX, that means that I don't think there's anything in there anyway. Um, meaning that, like, Bankman was lending them money as a credit line, but I just don't think that's dead. I uh, wouldn't be my guess. While we will continue to work on recovering, uh, recovering all obligations owed to BlockFi, uh, we expect that the recovery, God, recovery, uh, of the obligations owed to us by FTX will be delayed as FTX works through bankruptcy process. Interesting. So, so these would be, when I read through this, it seems like they're like, yo, we're trying to get our money from FTX too. Um, and, and let alone if there's customers out there that you guys are watching this, that you're a BlockFi customer, it seems like in order for BlockFi to pay you back or whatever, they need to get their stuff from FTX, uh, which I, I wouldn't count on it, to be honest, if it's crypto. Um, and, and I don't know what you guys have in this thing, but I'm just saying this as how I read it, I wouldn't count on it. And then um, the other thing is too, when, when they start talking about rumors and, and things that are false, you can't believe anything these people say. Um, I, well, I mean, I mean, you have to be fair, because yes, you got to believe some things, but I wouldn't 100% believe it. I wouldn't have faith in what they're saying because it's hard to say. <sighs> Let's keep going through that. If you guys understand what I'm saying, it's like, it's like I don't know. I don't trust any of this stuff. Um, at this time, withdrawals from BlockFi continue to be paused. Okay, we, we can also continue to ask clients not to submit any deposits to BlockFi wallet or interest accounts. And that's in bold phase. So do not send them any money. And it sounds so crazy, right? When a bank's like, yo, don't send me money. But this is this actually isn't a bank, but they always portray themselves as, as, as they were. This, their website from the beginning of, of stuff like that. Let's see what else we got here. Regarding our credit product, um, BlockFi relies on partners to deliver the credit product and distribute rewards, okay? Customers have received no communication that didn't originate from BlockFi, but from our partners, Evolve Bank and Deserve. We're working with our partners to intend to directly provide further details on our credit program as and when appropriate. So my understanding is that all their credit stuff is products are, are frozen. But again, this is with their partners. Um, and this is really, um, I, I think we're gonna see a lot more of these kind of things where just things get shut down completely. Um, and I don't even know these banks evolve or deserve. If you guys know these banks, let me know. I just I just don't know them. I don't, I've never heard of them. Um, what's next? 
Uh, there are a number of scenarios that may be available to us. <laughs> oh my God. This language just seems sounding like, like before they were saying we got to evaluate available options and now they're saying um, there's different scenarios, like things that could happen that, that may be available. They don't even know. Um, and we are doing the work now to determine the best path forward. BlockFi has the necessary liquidity to explore all options. Okay, they're saying they got money, I guess, uh, liquidity or well, or assets they could sell theoretically. I will just see here. BlockFi has the necessary liquidity to explore all options and we have engaged expert outside, outside advisors that are helping to navigate BlockFi's next steps. Haynes and Boone continues to serve as our primary outside counsel, as lawyers essentially, I would, I would guess. And uh, BRG has engaged in our financial advisor. Um, as we work expeditiously through a quickly evolving situation, we are focused on doing utmost to be transparent and around decisions related to our pause products and platform activity. Across BlockFi, our team is, is working tirelessly towards our primary objective of maximizing value for all our clients that we use to explore every option available to us. Uh, we will do our best to communicate through our official channels as often and transparency is possible going forward, but expect these explorations may take time. We appreciate your patience during this period. None of this sounds good. It seems like they, they're exploring their options. They don't know what's going to happen. They're, they're trying to play the, the possible scenarios. And um, I, I saw this, this is uh, just recently, I mean, you guys, 16 hours ago, people are complaining that their, their cards are frozen and it looks like probably what they're doing and, and you can see it here, you can see it says payments company curve bids for BlockFi's 87,000 credit card customers. So there's actually like, quite a lot of people involved in this thing, 87,000 customers. And essentially they're just trying to dump accounts off on, on other people, they're, they're, they're selling debt essentially. Um, this is this is sort of what happens at these kind of things, and some people make out like bandits. So originally, um, this is BlockFi's website here, but originally, uh, the idea was here it was that FTX was going to make out like a bandit. I remember that was reported all over. It's like, and what I mean by that is like, oh, you know, BlockFi is failing, and, and Voyager is failing, and FTX is going to come and buy this up and buy it for you know pennies on the dollar. But you know, the problem is, is if you're buying a failing company and it's a sinking ship, and you're like kind of going down with that ship, it's, it's no good. And now that we know that FTX is also going down, it's like they're all going down together. Um, and we'll see if like, you know, the other ones say like a Binance or Coinbase also follow. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out to you guys, because um, this is something that's really important is, is and we've talked about this in comments with people of like, okay, what do we think about BlockFi? Are they a bank or whatever? Are they insured? And the key is, and, and I know guys, I get it. <laughs> Very few of us actually scroll down to the bottom and this is their website here and actually, you know, read through the fine print. Uh, which is what we're gonna do. That's why we're doing this stuff together. So um, here we go. Um, digital currency is not legal tender, is not backed by the government. This is all on BlockFi's website. You gotta read these things, right? Um, so this is really key. Not So digital currency, crypto basically is not, can't, it's not backed by the government, it's not legal tender. And crypto accounts held by BlockFi are not FDIC or SIP, uh, subject to FDIC or SIPC protection. So basically it means you can go to zero essentially. Um, digital currency values are not static and fluctuate due to market uh, changes. Not all product and services are available in all geographic areas and are subject to applicable terms and conditions. Um, I, my understanding too with this one is like, I, I think that they, they, they had these issues with like which states you were in. Different states are ruling differently on these things. And if you guys are in certain states, please let me know if like you say you couldn't open accounts and stuff like that. But I do know Every state has different um, rules on this kind of stuff and they're still working this stuff out. But this is the part I wanted you to just understand that they're not actually F F FDIC insured or SIPC insured because we've discussed this in chat and I'm just reading like literally from their website. Um, the other part though is interesting but is what we we'll go through here. BlockFi rewards credit card, talking about something else. Um, BlockFi is not a bank. Um, cards are issued by Evolve Bank and Trust, member FDIC, right? But, 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 the, w w whenever you read this stuff, like if you read it quickly, you'll think, oh, well, BlockFi is FDIC. No, it's it's BlockFi is not a bank. However, um, c their cards are issued by banks who are members of the FDIC. So this is where it, it feels like more legitimate than it is. Um, if you guys understand what I'm saying, their partners are FDIC, but they are not. Um, and then it says, uh, and, they, and then their pursuit to the visa rewards are not offered by Evolve and Trust and are instead offered and managed by BlockFi. Oh, so that's where the that's where the funkiness is. So Evolve and, and Trust, the banks, issue you the cards, but then your rewards are all through BlockFi. So it's like, it is a definite partnership. And I think probably your rewards are gonna be crypto rewards, which aren't FDIC insured and essentially, as they said, not legal tender, not by the government. And then, um, oh, this is something that's kind of funky. 
I'm just reading it myself here. BlockFi International Limited Holdings Class F Digital Assets Business License under the Digital Assets Business Act of 2018, as amended, is licensed by the Bermuda Monetary Authority. Oh God, that, that's all you got to need right need to know right there. The we're, 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 your money's in the Bermuda Triangle, I guess, right? The Bermuda Monetary Authority. Unreal. I did, I did, I actually, I didn't even know that. Um, <laughs> had to be Bermuda, right? Sorry about that, guys. I hate to break you the bad news about Bermuda to you, but, um, and you have to laugh about it a little bit. I mean, it's a little bit funny, but um, the other thing too is it seems that um, executives were leaving uh, in early September as well. They kind of saw that where, where the direction was going. Um, so that's what I want to share with you guys. Uh, it looks like BlockFi is still frozen. I think there's a lot of, um, for very frank, I, I would try to get my money out of BlockFi ASAP if I were anyone. Uh, I'm sure you guys understand, especially when they're freezing everything. And I just want to hear from you guys, um, your, your luck on these things. Uh, are you frozen? Are you able to use your cards? Have you put in requests for withdrawals, this kind of things? Um, and that's my opinion on that. So I'm going to go do it. I'm going to do a news video right after this. So please stay tuned. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.